Thank you, Chief Reese, for all of your support. I am honored to be selected as the next Chief of Police for the City of Portland. And I do this with a willingness to continue the significant changes that we have been working on for the last several years. The next coming months, as both the Chief and Mayor said, bring some challenges to us. We've got a lot of work to do with the DOJ. We're going to have a COPAL position selected, a COAB Community Advisory Board. We've got the results of the staffing study coming out. We've got to put together a budget. And then we've got our new records management system going online in the spring. I bring a unique perspective to this job. I'm starting my 29th year in the Portland Police Bureau. And I spent the last several years in the Chief's office working several different assignments. Uh, one of those assignments was the Assistant Chief in charge of the Services Branch. That is all of our support functions, our training, our personnel, our records, our IT, our fiscal, and our strategic services division. I'm currently the Assistant Chief in charge of the Operations Branch. There I oversee the free precincts, the Transit Division, Traffic Division, and the Youth Services Division. I was also a part of all the negotiations that the city had with the Department of Justice. I'm very familiar with that document, and I fully support achieving all those goals within that. This experience has really given me a deep foundation that I'm going to draw upon to do this job and, and lead this agency. I have uh, four areas that I'm going to focus on, my primary four focus areas. Uh, the first is, is that we focus on a relationship-based philosophy of policing. I can't sit up in my office and direct that we worked on this crime or that crime or this livability issue and that worked for everybody. But what I can do is message to our membership that, uh, that they go out and build trusting relationships in all parts of the community because the needs are different. The needs for downtown are different than the needs for the community out at 162nd and Burnside, different from the needs of Colleen Killingsworth. Uh, but if, if uh, our members are all building those relationships and working on that community's priorities, we can better meet our community needs. Uh, my secondary focus is increasing diversity in the Police Bureau and increasing diversity in the Police Bureau's leadership. Every community member should be able to look at the Police Bureau and see somebody that shares their same culture and background. Increasing our diversity in the Police Bureau is going to do a couple things for us. It's going to increase community trust and it's going to change the way that we think and work within the Police Bureau. Uh, third thing I want to focus on, increasing our communication and our collaboration. We'll do that both internally and externally. You heard the several challenges that we have coming up. Uh, within that, there is a, a lot of traditional and non-traditional partners that we need to make sure we are very much collaborating with and very much communicating with. My last focus area is around being fiscally responsible. Uh, people work very hard. They pay a lot of tax dollars. They want those to be used and spent in a smart way. The Police Bureau is the biggest general fund user, and it's very important to me personally that, that every dollar we spend is a dollar that we need and that we spend it wisely. This is going to be a, be a collaborative effort because we can't continue to move forward without the, the support and help from community, from our, our leaders, uh, from our advisors, and, and uh, work together on this. You know, one of the things that's important to me is I like to build. I spend my Saturdays building houses for Habitat for Humanity, but I also build relationships. I build those inside the Bureau and I build those outside the Bureau. I really believe that it's a pivotal time right now for the Police Bureau and I look forward to our continued development. Thank you.